everyone, Miss Hannah here, and today we're going to be reading the first chapter in this book here in the juvenile fiction section of the library. This is where all of the chapter books are held for the big kids. Yeah, this is called juvenile fiction. So, um, but we're going to be reading this book. It's called Dory Phantasmagory, and it's by a Abby Hanlon, and it's, it's published by Puffin Books. And we're going to re be reading this book for our Radical Readers Book Club. Now, if you like this book, if you end up liking the first chapter in this book, you can finish reading it by checking it out with us by doing a curbside pickup, or you can actually make an appointment and come into the library now. Or you can also check out the book at home right on Hoopla or the Libby app. There are two different apps that we offer for our patrons for free and um, I'll put a link in the description so you can find it really easy. Okay, so let's get started reading this book. So here you can check out the cover. There's Dory Phantasmagory. And um, on the top it says here, a little rascal with a big imagination. Now Dory, she likes to get into a lot of mischief and this is kind of a funny book and it has some fun illustrations too. So let's get started. So here we have some pictures of her. It says, Dory, she's got imagination. She's funny, she's brave, she's a dog. No, she's a girl. She's Dory. What a rascal. <laughs> Dory Phantasmagory. Here we go. Now they have a description of Phantasmagory. Phantasmagory is a dreamlike state where real life and imagination are blurred together. Oh, that sounds really cool. Chapter one, such a baby. My name is Dory, but everyone calls me Rascal. This is my family and I am the little kid. My sister's name is Violet and my brother's name is Luke. Violet is the oldest. Violet and Luke never want to play with me. They say I'm a baby. Mom, Rascal is bothering us. What is she doing, calls my mother. She's looking at us. She's breathing, said Violet. <laughs> All summer long, whenever I try to play with Vi Luke and Violet, they say, please leave us alone. Well, I'm not going to leave, but I can't think of what to say, so I ask questions any question I can think of. What does please mean, says Dory? Why do we have armpits? How do they make plastic? Those are good questions. I can't wait for school to start so we can get a break from Rascal, says Violet. Me too, grumbles Luke. Don't talk about school, I cover my ears. I never want to the summer to end, I like to stay home in my nightgown instead of getting dressed for school. It's a winter nightgown, says Violet, and it's inside out, said Luke, and it's backwards, said Violet. So what, I said, so now that you turn six, you need to stop acting like such a baby, said Violet. Why do you always call me a baby, I complained. Because you talk to yourself, said Violet. And you have temper tantrums, says Luke. And you play with monsters, says Violet. Talk to myself. I have no idea what they are talking about. I never talk to myself. I talk to my friend, Mary. No one can see her except me. And then there's a picture where it says, Mary, it's time for lunch. <laughs> Sounds like she has an imaginary friend. Mary always wants to play with me. She thinks I'm the greatest. And here is Dory. She's asking Mary, why do we have armpits? And Mary says, that's an interesting question. All night, Mary sleeps under my bed. What is the opposite of a sandwich, says Dory. I've always wondered that, said Mary. During the day, Mary follows me around. She wants to do whatever I am doing. I usually don't mind, but sometimes I have to tell her no. Sorry, Mary, I'm playing with Violet, said Dory. 
No, you aren't, said Violet. Okay, Mary, what do you want to play, I asked. <laughs> and Mary looks very happy that they can play together. Here are some of the things Mary likes to do. One, try and steal Violet's doll, Cherry. Oh, they're sneaky. They like to fake sleep. They like to sneak cookies from the high cabinet. Mm. And they have an exercise club. Now they also like to get dragged around the house in a laundry basket. Luke says, why are you talking to the laundry basket? And Dory's t telling Mary, faster? They also like to look for monsters. They have a flashlight. Mary is my favorite, but my house is actually full of monsters. There's a toilet monster who comes into the bathroom if you sit on the toilet for too long. There is a ketchup monster who makes weird noises when you squeeze the ketchup. And there's also the laundry monster, the broken drawer monster, the vacuum monster, the upstairs hallway monster, the living room monster, and more. I try to warn Luke and Violet when I see one. Watch out! It's behind you! Ah! There's a monster in your underwear, she says to Luke. Run! The vacuum monster is coming! But Luke and Violet don't appreciate it. Rascal is driving me crazy, says Violet. Yeah, me too. What are you, what are we going to do, said Luke. Let's scare her back. I'll think of something, said Violet. Think of something that will get her to stop acting like such a baby, said Luke. Hmm. I have an idea, said Violet. After dinner, Violet and Luke say they have something important to tell me. I follow them upstairs, skipping steps. I'm so excited. What can it be? Violet lets me sit on her bed. Maybe she will let me play with Cherry. Very slowly, Violet asks me, Rascal, have you ever heard of someone named Mrs. Gobblegracker? I shake my head no. Well, Mrs. Gobblegracker is a robber and she steals baby girls, says Violet. And she is 507 years old and she has very sharp teeth, adds Luke. And well, says Violet, you're going to be really surprised when I tell you this. What I say, I'm dying to know. She's been looking for you, she says quickly. Are you serious, I ask. Dead serious, she says. Mrs. Grabblegracker is looking for me, I ask in amazement. Shh, says Luke. She's so scary. You have to whisper when you say her name, like this. Mrs. Gobblegracker. So I, if I were you, I would stop acting like such a baby so she doesn't come and get you, says Violet. For a moment, I am quiet. This is a lot to think about. Luke and Violet stare at me as if they are waiting for me to cry. How will she get into the house? Does she come in the front door or will she ring the doorbell, I ask them. Before they answer, I have some more questions. Is she sneaky? Will, will I have to battle her? Does she have a long black coat, cape? Is it made out of fur? Is it real fur or fake fur? Are her teeth rotting? Does she brush them? Does she have a really creepy looking nose? Does she have a cat? Does she live in a cave? Does she have really long bones? We don't know, we'll leave us alone, they shout, shaking their head and walking away fast. I follow Luke and Violet around the house. Oh my gosh, what have we done, says Luke covering his ears. <laughs> Is she a vegetarian? Does she vote? Is she nocturnal? Does she like ice cream? Does she like anything? Is she powerful? Does she have a cell phone? Does she eat rubber chickens? This is the worst idea we have ever had, says Violet, <laughs> trying to get away from me. Ever, said Luke, ever, ever, 
ever. I don't know what, I don't want to know what happens next, says Violet. And they walk away. Now, that was the end of chapter one. Chapter two is titled, Did You Hear the Doorbell Ring? Hmm, I wonder what happens in chapter two. I'm very curious. So if you want to continue reading, go ahead and give us a call and we can put the book aside for you or you can check out the book online on Hoopla or Libby. Now guess what? If you finish reading this book and you love it, guess what? There's more in the series. There's more books in this series. They're right here. I'm, I'm very conveniently right next to them. So there's this one. It's called Dory and the Real True Friend. And there's also Dory Phantasmagory, Dory Dory Black Sheep. <laughs> and then there is also Dory Phantasmagory, Head in the Clouds. So if you like that first one, there's other books in this series too that you can read. Okay, so we have these for you. Just give us a call if you'd like us to put them on hold and we can do that for you. All right, well, thank you so much for joining me. We'll see you next time for another first chapter reading. Bye-bye. Thank you.